Beyond the glossy pages of Wix lies a realm where code is king and creativity is queen. Are you ready to step into the kingdom of Wix? Headless. And when you think of Wix, you might think about website templates, GUI website builders, do-it-yourself, no-code websites. But Wix is more than just a pretty face. Did you know that Wix actually has an entire lineup of developer tools? Did you know that it's much more than just a drag and drop website builder? Wix is very focused on providing valuable tools for developers to use. Wix is invested in helping developers build modern web applications with the tech stacks they enjoy to work with. Now, the product that we're going to explore today is Wix Headless. It's a modern content management solution that breaks down the walls between your front end and back end. With Wix Headless, you get the freedom to use any tech stack you want, craft engaging digital experiences, and deliver content seamlessly across various platforms, all while enjoying the robust backend capabilities that Wix provides. And even though this video is sponsored by Wix, I truly do believe that Wix is doing great things to help developers build and deliver amazing applications. So what is a headless CMS? Well, unlike traditional CMSs, a headless CMS doesn't tie your front end, what your user sees, to the back end where your content lives. It lets your content live anywhere and look great everywhere. A headless CMS allows developers to manage content through a backend system, but it doesn't come with a predetermined front end presentation layer. The architecture gives developers the freedom to build custom front ends using any tech stack while still being able to manage and update content easily. Wix Headless provides robust server side APIs, which allows developers to interact with the platform and manage content users, and business operations. It supports various authorization strategies for interacting with these APIs, and developers can choose to work with the JavaScript SDK or the REST APIs based on their project needs. Now, besides the standard CMS API, there's also specific custom APIs for bookings to accept and manage uh, bookings for services. The events API provides functionality for creating, updating, and managing events. The e-commerce and stores API is designed to manage products, inventory, carts, orders, and everything else related to managing an e-commerce store. And with the pricing plans API, you can build a customized membership plan experience. So let's see it in action. We're going to deploy one of the Next.js templates the Wix team has already created and explore how their headless offering works. If you don't already have a Wix account, go ahead and sign up, it's completely free. There's a link in the video description. The first thing we're going to do is create a new Wix headless project. So I'm creating this project for, uh, doesn't matter, choose work. I am a developer. And we're going to choose for this one, it uses the bookings API and the pricing plans. So we're gonna select those and continue. And we'll name this Wix headless demo and get started. Next, we need to create an OAuth app so that our application can authenticate to Wix headless. So we can see that right here in let's get you set up. Let's go through here, create app, and then we will click create OAuth app. I'll name it Wix headless demo app and description is optional. So let's create this. And here we have our client ID. This is what we need. So let's copy this and save that for later. All right, next, we're going to clone this Wix bookings template. So I have the GitHub repo here. Let's go ahead and go to code and copy this. I'll go over to VS code and let's clone that repo. And we'll select the repository destination. And here's our nice Next.js project. So the first thing we need to do is go to the .env.template file and put in our client ID. So we got that just a minute ago and I'll paste that there. And we do also need to rename the .env.template to .local. All right, and now let's go ahead and run this and make sure it works. And so I'll open up my terminal and let's do an npm i and then npm run dev. Now we can open this up on localhost 3000. And this is a nice little website. So we have an about section services. Let's see what that is. No services found. 
The template has directed us back to the Wix headless dashboard and we can add services from here. So let's add this virtual consultation. That looks good. Uh, we can change the name, add a tagline, description. We'll say it's one hour. We can add a buffer. We can do per session with a plan, uh, per session or the plan, fixed price. Let's see, how much is this? We're gonna say it's $500. And entire amount online, we can choose in person, online or in person, online deposit, the rest in person. Okay, so we'll say that everything online, we want it all up front. Uh, we can do packages, that's nice, five session package. And let's go ahead and edit and connect that. So you get five sessions in this package, uh, one time payment of 200. Uh, for five, that would be 2,500. So let's say 2,000 for five. All right, let's save that and see what we get. So we've got this plan. We could add a location, multiple staff members if we have multiple people, images, booking. Let's just save that. All right, let's go back to our site and see what we get now. Let's refresh this. Nice, now we have our virtual consultation and we can book. It shows my availability, my schedule. Let's say we wanna book something tomorrow. So let's go back and check out the code. So this is using the Next.js app directory. So everything is gonna be here under app. We've got our different routes, about me, account, API auth, book, calendar. We've got our components. So let's take a look at the page.tsx file. So then this is where we can edit all of the stuff on our page. We've got that video that's playing, um, title, all of these other things that we can edit and make our own. And then we've got our services rendering here. So if we have services, then they'll render. So it looks like we are using uh, Wix session here. And then our services automatically populate here uh, from services. Where did that come from? All right, so we're getting services here and awaiting that from our Wix session and limiting it to three. Uh, I guess we just wanna display the first three on our homepage and we can get to all services from the services route, which would be here. Looks like we have slug or by ID and then a page for each service. Okay. And then if we dig a little deeper, we've got this safe get services, which is coming from app model services, let's look at that. So they've got these API calls all ready for us to go to get our services from our Wix session or from a slug or by ID. If we open up our file explorer, we can see in our model, we have our service API. We've got paid plans, members, bookings, availability, all of these API routes all ready to go for us. The ease of use and flexibility that Wix headless offers for developers is amazing. And it's seamless integration with modern frameworks like Next.js is awesome. So for your next project, why not give Wix Headless a try?